Rosa, I'm Anja from Beach Inspector and we are here at a really beautiful place. We are here at Dolphin Reef Beach, which is a beach which is located on the Red Sea in the city called Elat in the south of Israel. And we rarely uh, rate the beach with 10 out of 10, but this beach definitely deserves a 10. And why? You will see now. find a lovely little pebbles beach here and families just love to come here and spend some time with their little kids uh, but you should take some money with you because the entrance fee is not that cheap but it's really really worth it and what makes it really worth it as well is this amazing tree house we are sitting in right now it's probably the most lovely looking and hugest tree house I've ever been and I really recommend you to see that hi I'm Sarah and I'm a operating manager here in the relaxation pools. It's a one part of the Dolphin Reef. We have a bar a restaurant that is uh, raised on a deck above the ocean and above the dolphins. It's open to the public uh, only to adults over the age of 18. Um, and there are also three pools. One is seawater. One is uh, fresh water and one is salt water, like the Dead Sea. There's actual salt crystals on the bottom of the pool from the Dead Sea. And the whole idea is uh, relaxation. The, this place in general is very special. It's the only place in the world where the dolphins are not caged in. So now we are on the jetty. From here you see the home of the dolphins from above and the stuff will tell you everything you need to know about dolphins. And if you want to see the home of the dolphins from underwater perspective, you can go snorkel and scuba diving here. The original idea of this place when it was established 26 years ago was to always allow the dolphins the freedom of choice. We wanted them to, that this will be their home and outside that will be their backyard. For seven years, that was uh, the project. We, we had a gate that was open 24 hours under the water. They went in and out whenever they wanted and they always came back. They didn't come back for the food because they don't need us for the food. They hunt fish by themselves. So they came back after a few hours, after a few days, after a few weeks. The longest time that the dolphin was outside was two weeks. They came back for the same reason we go back home. They like it here, they feel safe here and they want to be here. Um, but a lot of the time they came back hurt from people. So after seven years, we closed the project to protect them. Ever since we closed the project, every now and then the nets get ripped. Usually it gets ripped because of uh, the nature, strong currents, winds, tides. So while we're fixing the nets, the dolphins can enjoy themselves outside. It happens between once to three times a month. So they have a lot of opportunities to go outside. So up to two months ago, it was winter. We enjoyed the whole situation. There were no people in the sea. Uh, now it's the season, so we have a special group of people that are responsible responsible for the safety of the dolphins outside. They go outside, they talk to people, they explain to people what to do, what not to do, and how to protect them. And hopefully, we will pass this summer safely. 